Over 27 years ago, Ivan Omine's geologists began exploration activities in the former Katanga province in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. We were searching for copper mineralization over a massive land package of 50,000 square kilometers. We believed there was a western extension to the great Central African copper belt, obscured beneath a layer of Kalahari sands. The blanket layer of Kalahari sand left no surface impression of the copper lying beneath. Exploration requires time and patience, and so our painstaking work began. Geophysical surveys, soil samples, and thousands of meters of drilling. In 2008, the geological theory was confirmed with the landmark discovery of the high-grade Kamoa deposit. After discovering Kamoa, which today contains almost 25 million tons of copper, we intensified our exploration efforts. In 2015, Ivano brought in Zijin as partners to develop the project as a joint venture. The following year, in 2016, the discovery of the ultra-high-grade Kakula deposit changed the entire landscape for Ivano Mines and the DRC. Kakula was as large as Kamoa, but with grades well in excess of 6% copper. Kakula's grades were approximately 10 times higher than the average grade of copper mines globally of approximately 0.6%. Kamoa Kakula quickly became the largest copper discovery in Africa and the fourth largest in the world. As Kamoa Kakula entered its development phase, Ivano brought in Citic Metal as a strategic partner, who invested over $1 billion to fund construction for phase one. Construction activities of the Kakula phase one concentrator with a processing capacity of 3.8 million tons per annum, began in January 2020. By May 2021, the Phase 1 concentrator was built and commissioned, on budget and months ahead of schedule. This was a monumental achievement during COVID-19 and just five years after the discovery of the Kakula ore body. At the same time, we began the construction of the Phase 2 expansion, doubling the processing capacity to 7.6 million tons per annum. At Kamoa Kakula, our electricity comes from clean, green hydropower, thanks to our partnership with the DRC state-owned power utility called Snell. Together we completed the refurbishment of the Mwadingusha hydropower station in September 2021, generating 78 megawatts, enough to power the entire phase one and two operations. Around the same time, we also signed an agreement to rehabilitate a further 178 megawatts of generation capacity from Turbine 5 of the Inga 2 hydropower station. Combined, these two projects will generate over 250 megawatts of clean power to the DRC grid. This enables Kamoa Kakula to be one of the world's lowest emitters of greenhouse gases per ton of copper produced. In April 2022, we began commercial production at the Phase 2 concentrator, four months ahead of schedule and ramping up in record time. During 2022, Kamoa Kakula produced 333,700 tons of copper with a remarkable average feed grade of 5.6%. Kamoa Kakula generated record revenue for the year of $2.2 billion and EBITDA of $1.4 billion. In January 2023, we updated our long-term integrated development plan for Kamoa Kakula, including both a Phase 3 and Phase 4 expansion. The plan generated outstanding economic results, including an NPV 8% of $20 billion over a mine life in excess of 40 years. In March 2023, we completed a de-bottlenecking program of the Phase 1 and 2 concentrators, increasing production capacity by 20% up to 450,000 tons of copper per annum. Following the debottlenecking program, the concentrators achieved record production rates and copper recovery rates. In October 2023, DRC President Felix Chisekedi formally opened the Kamoa Center of Excellence, a higher education facility built to create the future leaders of the DRC's mining industry. In November 2023, we announced the maiden mineral resource estimates for the Makoko and Kiala discoveries in the Western Foreland, the world's third largest and highest grade since Kakula. Ivano has now discovered over 50 million tons of contained copper across the Western Foreland shelf, including Kamoa and Kakula. Also in November, 
we announced a new copper discovery in the western foreland called Kitoko, with drill hole number 8, which intersected 11.6% copper over 5.2 meters. During 2023, Kamoa Kakula produced approximately 394,000 tons of copper, achieving guidance. In January 2024, Kamoa Kakula announced its first copper concentrate shipment on the Lobito Atlantic Rail Corridor, a project supported by the United States and the European Union. This took less than a third of the time of the existing export routes by truck and is expected to significantly reduce scope 3 carbon emissions and operating costs. 2024 is another huge year for Kamoa Kakula, with the completion of the Phase 3 concentrator expansion and the production of first concentrate on the 9th of June, many quarters ahead of schedule. Phase 3 increases the production capacity of the Kamoa Kakula copper complex by a further 33% to over 600,000 tons of copper per annum. By the end of the year, Kamoa Kakula is also expected to commission its state-of-the-art copper smelter. The smelter will be one of the largest in the world and produce 500,000 tons of copper anodes per annum. Exporting copper anodes, rather than copper concentrate, will approximately half export volumes, resulting in a dramatic reduction of C1 cash costs of about 20%. In addition, this will cement Kamoa Kakula's position as one of the lowest carbon-intensive copper metal producers in the world. We have spent over two decades on this remarkable journey, discovering and building one of the world's largest and greenest copper producing complexes. Empowering our local communities and investing in people with over 91% of our full-time workforce who are Congolese. And contributing to the growth of the DRC economy with over $600 million paid in taxes and royalties and billions more to come. 27 years of building our green future, made possible by the collective efforts of over 18,000 dedicated women and men. <laughs>